Dark and decrepit, this hotel is now home for displaced residents from southern Lebanon. There's little to do and little support for the 60 families living here. Menah El Ramel fled Israeli airstrikes and artillery fire on her border village. She returned recently to retrieve some possessions. I miss my house, my life in the village. I miss everything. Believe me, I used to enter my home and feel secure and content. I wish it could stop and we could return. Other families in the hotel say their homes have also been ruined. There are no doors anymore because of the bombing. Windows are shattered. Everything is destroyed. Parents say their children are traumatised and afraid. The damage is so great, the mental toll can be seen in the bad school results. Chronic fear among the children, they are always frightened. Even their facial expressions seem in shock and fear. They are always afraid of danger. Around 60,000 Israelis have been evacuated from their community since October, when Hezbollah began firing rockets, missiles and drones at Israel in support of Hamas. Israel's retaliation has in turn displaced more than 90,000 people in southern Lebanon. Many fear the conflict will expand beyond the south when Hezbollah delivers a promised harsh response to Israel's assassination of military commander Fuad Shukur in the capital Beirut last month. The situation is dire. People are not getting out of their homes. They are frightened. Therefore, people stay home and they are depressed. Everyone is anxious. And it doesn't look like these people will be able to return home anytime soon. Eric Tworczyk, ABC News.